careful if you're looking to buy the 2024 Toyota Tacoma. Recently, I went to a dealership, checked one out. It was a TRD Sport. And I noticed there were a few things missing, things that I thought were standard or gonna be standard on the Toyota Tacoma from the third generation late onward. But I was mistaken and I was a bit surprised. It seems to me that Toyota is now selling these things in the form of packages. You know, if you buy a package option, then you get these things. Whereas before, some of these things were just kind of included standard. Now, don't get me wrong, you're still paying for them. They're in the price. But we didn't get a price reduction when Toyota decided to take these out, right? Everybody knows how expensive the 2024 Tacoma is. So here's a few things that I noticed that were missing. And this was, again, a TRD Sport more of a top of the line, mid, middle of the line truck. First of all, this right over here on the side. I even went to use this when I got in the truck and I'm talking about these buttons. Of course, it's the power seat. I was really quite shocked when I got in that truck. I went to adjust the seats, of course, as one does. I reached down and I felt nothing. That's because they're not included. You see, I thought when Toyota went to the electric power seat, you know, the 10-way power adjustable seat with lumbar, uh, that it was actually going to be standard, at least in the mid to higher trims from that point forward. But apparently that is not true. It is not included in that new Toyota Tacoma, at least for the model that I drove. Next up, the tailgate. We have to walk around to the tailgate. This was very surprising to me, and I thought this was standard at all trim levels, but it's not. Not the tailgate itself, obviously, but this function. You know, when you do that, right? The dampened tailgate. It is not a standard uh, option, if you will, or function all across the trim levels. I know that because I saw someone open one actually at the dealership. They were inside and they went to open the back and they just let go and it slammed down. Very shocking to the point where a couple of the salespeople actually came around to take a look and see what it was, right? I can't believe that they're not including that as a standard option. One caveat, I suppose, the tailgate on the 2024 is much, much lighter. But still, it's a little shocking when, uh, when you go to put that down, expecting it to be dampened to just slowly go down, and it does not. Next up, we have to go back to the bed again. I was really surprised that this appears to now be an option. I'm talking about the cubby over there. On the one that I looked at, it did not have any cubby over there. It was completely flat. However, when I looked at uh, some other Tacomas, the new 2024, I did see that there was a cubby included. So apparently, Toyota is now doing some sort of bed package. Man, that's heavy. They're doing some sort of bed package where it's an option to have a cubby in the back. I don't believe they've included two like they used to, but at least to get one back there to, to throw stuff in. Now, the next thing, we got to go back to the bed again. They seem to really be picking on the bed, I think, with this new Tacoma. I noticed when I looked at the 2024 that it had a texturing to it. That all of the surfaces inside the bed were textured, not like this. It's just the smooth, slippery plastic or composite, if you will. Still have the composite bed. Looks like this has a little more it, or, uh, texturing to it yeah, than what mine does. Yeah. yeah. Well, I thought that was a standard feature, that that was just the way the new bed came. But, come to find out, it is not. What I experienced at the truck I looked at was the spray-in liner. The first time I've ever seen a spray-in liner in a composite bed on the Toyota Tacoma. Now, I will say 
that spray in liner was pretty good quality. I mean, it was done so well that it looked like the bed was actually made that way, but it was not. So it's something to be aware of, I guess, if you're going to look at the new 2024, if that's important to you. Of course, I would still throw a bed mat in there no matter what, if for nothing else than to protect the bed. So I don't know that it's really necessary and a feature that you probably ought to pay for. I mean, if you're going to put a mat in there anyway, why have the spray-in bed liner unless you're looking to maybe protect the sides and the front a little bit more? I could see that, but I don't really see any reason to have that spray-in liner when we have bed mats out there. Now, finally, something else that uh, I noticed or didn't notice was the rear view mirror. Of course, mine has the directional gauge or compass right over here on the edge, and then it has the auto dimming function. That, of course, is when you're driving around and there's headlights behind you. You all know what an auto dimming mirror is, right? It will change angle so that you don't get all that glare in your rear view mirror. I did not notice that in the truck that I looked at, nor did I notice Homelink. I can't believe that Toyota is not including Homelink in the new trucks in this day and age. I mean, you can see on mine, I don't have Homelink here either. There are no buttons or anything here. I mean, we have this fancy mirror with its compass and its electronic dimming feature, but no Homelink. I don't understand why. And I'm not even sure if it's an option in the lower trim levels. I would certainly hope that it's included in one of these new Tacoma or Toyota package options where you can get all kinds of extra gadgets and stuff in there. I'm not exactly sure. Now, one more thing I want to throw out there. Take a close look at the trim work on the inside, particularly right around the radio. You know, Toyota's put this new uh, separate looking radio. It kind of stands off. It's a floating screen. Here is the screen. Let's see if we can fire that up. And the way they've done the trim work in it, it kind of looks, I don't know, cartoonish to me. Something about it. I just don't, uh, I just don't love it. I don't hate it, but it is something that, uh, that you're going to notice. I think the treatment of the trim inside the third generation Tacoma looks a lot better. I think it looks more upscale, looks more classy, I think. It's just one of those little things, and maybe it's just a pet peeve for me. I don't know, but it's something I noticed that was not really missing, but changed in the 2024 Tacoma. So anyway, I would say just be careful when you're looking to buy the 2024 Tacoma. Make sure that the features and options that you're used to in your third gen are in the truck that you're looking to buy because it's gonna be one of those situations where you get home, the features are missing, and you're like, what the heck? Why doesn't this have a cubby in the back? Or where are my power seats? Just something to think about. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know if you've noticed this, that Toyota seems to be packaging everything into options now or an option package. And we've lost some of the things that we had before, like the rear seat poles, like the two cubbies in the bed. I'd just be curious to know. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.